Hello there. Today for your viewing pleasure, I have how to make your seating charts a lot more helpful. So this is in Synergy, which is the district data warehouse. I always open to my seating chart pages. Uh, I find that the most simple way to get to students. Other people use a different side and that's fine, but I don't. You can have all of your students in this. I think I mentioned that in another video. Alpha is your entire student list or you can say split by section and have each class be its own seating chart. I use both of these for various reasons, but today I want to show you how to expand your view so it's easier to see. I think I have students to add in this one. No? Oh man, where did I put them? I left them out for you so that I would not... Well, we'll use the big guy. All right, that's fine. So when you come to a seating chart that has an edit orange button and some students who need to be seated in the chart, you click on edit, scroll down. Oh, see, it doesn't have anybody. That means that someone was dropped rather than added. And you hit fill alpha. This will rearrange your students, whether you have ones to add, which would be listed right here, or someone dropped, and so it takes out the blank box that would have been left there. But the thing I also want to show you is this little seating chart. You would think that you add plus or minus to add rows. In fact, you do not. You use these little guys. That arranges the view. If you have fewer boxes available, then you have students. A bunch of your kids will come back to this list. So you need to add rows that will accommodate and columns that will accommodate your number of students. I don't like to make more rows than I have in a typical open box. So then you hit fill alpha again. All the kids will go back on and then save. When you have a student and you need to find out all kinds of things about him or her or them, then that's where you look. We looked at log student contact last time. If you click student, you'll find all kinds of things like the student demographic information, including the student outside email, parents demographic information. If you click this little arrow, then you get mom's email address, so on and so forth. That's all for today, at least for now. Bye.